Key panel, actions. Go to the tools panel and select the gradient tool. Select a gradient, select linear, and also blend mode of difference, and create a couple of gradients. Apply a couple of times. Then go to the action panel and plus at the bottom. Click that to start recording a new action. Give it a name and record. You can see it's recording now. And create some more gradients. You can vary the gradient, you can vary it if it's radial, etc. Doesn't matter. Just create all kinds of colourful designs. Then go to filter and go down to distort and twirl or wave. I'm going to go with twirl and set it to 720. Create a really extreme twirl. Click OK. And you can see now you've got your twirl design. Now you want to stop. You want to stop the action. Well, you want to pause it. Slightly weird the way I've called it, but go right side menu and insert stop. And a box will pop up and type a message. What you need to do is, I want a selection. So please create a selection and allow continue. That's the key thing just down the bottom. Make certain that's on. Click OK. And now continue to create more steps. And I want to create that selection now. So that selection, rectangle marquee tool. When you come to create it later, it can be any selection. Doesn't matter. Just create a selection here. And then go to edit and copy. Edit and paste. And now you've got a layer. And you can move it using the move tool. And also you can hold down the alter option key and duplicate. And you can do that 1500 times. Create my, and all of them will be recorded. You can see copy current layer. And now you can go to layer and flatten image. And that's it. That's all I'm going to record. You could add some more like oil paint, etc. Now you can stop it. Just go to the bottom and click stop the actions panel and you can see all the steps there the only action the step that I don't want is set selection so just go to the left side and click that little tick make certain it's not on it's a key thing so that won't appear next time and now go and create something else so edit and fill I'm just going to fill it white create a few more gradients it doesn't have to be gradients it could be photos images patterns etc now you can run the action. So click there and run it. So it's play and a message will come up. And click stop, not continue. So stop is the one you want to click. It's not really stopping. And now create your selection. And you can create any selection, maybe slightly wider, circular, doesn't matter. So just go with that, just something. You can play maybe a feather, etc. And continue to play by clicking the play. And it will do the remaining steps. And now what's happened is create all those layers and it's flattened the image for you. So you've got now a wonderful, colourful image. Again, edit and fill, again with white. Create another gradient. Doesn't have to be the same gradient. Create all kinds of different designs. And that's an initial start point. So it's slightly different. Play again, just down the bottom of actions. And again, click stop. And create a selection. This time, Instead, I'm going to go with elliptical marquee. So with elliptical marquee, I can select that area there. So that's selected. And now again, go down to the play, click that. And you can see what's happened. It's generated all those circles. And that can be done with any selection and any colorful design. Also, you can do maybe a stylized oil paint. Click OK. Or any other effect as well.